hi guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am showing you how i make my aloe vera and neem protein hairball gloss here i am just showing you the length of my hair because i've decided to start my ayurveda hair journey again and i sort of want to document the progress and the health of my hair so that's why i'm doing a length check for you guys and also for myself to start with you need a wooden bowl i'll put a link to amazon so you can get one then you need a wooden spoon and it's important to use a wooden spoon and not metal followed by whatever conditioner you're going to use with your gloss and then protein defense which is the protein treatment that i use followed by aloe vera powder and neem powder which I purchased from Shea Butter Cottage. I'll also put the link below. I am starting with the neem powder and I am using one tablespoon for that. Then the aloe vera powder. And I decided to use a spoon and a half because aloe vera is moisturizing. So I wanted more of a conditioning mixture. I then went in with hot water and I decided to go in slowly with the water but as you can see that amount did nothing at all because these powders expand and they take a lot of water. So I followed up with some more water and it's better to do it bit by bit so you don't end up with a mixture that is too watery mixing was a bit of a chore because you get a lot of lumps so you have to make sure that a lot of it is fine you can blend it if you want but i didn't have that luxury so i spent a lot of time mixing it so here we are not too bad it still had some lumps but it's something that we can work with so here i'm just going in with my tresemme moisture rich conditioner and I'm going in with six tablespoons and then two tablespoons of my protein defense which is the protein treatment that I use so I then mix it all together until it's all very fine and smooth and this is what I end up with after a few minutes of mixing so it's quite watery and fine but not too watery so this is the perfect texture for me so i went and washed my hair and now i am about to put the mixture into my hair i didn't show me washing my hair because my bathroom is really small and such a struggle to get my filming equipment like lights and everything in there and honestly i'm always scared of getting electrocuted so i'm going to take those out of my video if i do not have to because i do want to live so <laughs> so here i'm just putting it into my hair and whilst i do that i lightly finger detangle whilst smoothing it into my hair it did give me a little bit of slip which was good so as you can see the more I add to my hair the more my curls clump together and they begin to to separate and have some life to them so this is what my hair is looking like now and here is a closer look of the application don't you just love how thick Ayurveda herbs make your hair strands look? Just look at that, I love it. So I am going to go off camera and wash it off and then come back and style my hair. So here we are, I've gone and rinsed it out and just look at that shine on my hair. Just look at that. So I've just come straight out of the shower and my hair feels really soft and moisturized. It's got a good shine on it. We're all good, I love it. And also I think I was just checking for like little bits of herbs in my hair because that's one of the main reasons why I stopped using Ayurveda herbs for about a year because I just couldn't figure out how to stop these bits from getting into my hair. But this wasn't too bad, just a few that I could ignore so this is how bouncy my hair is just super moisturized and conditioned and also strengthened 
so here I am just braiding my hair and then I will style and moisturize it later so I think I had six braids in my hair and I'll come back a few days later because I never have time to moisturize my hair straight away after I've washed it so it will probably be a few days later when I come back to moisturize my hair but I'll just keep it under a satin bonnet until then so it's been four days since I washed my hair um, is it four or five I washed my hair on Sunday so that's five days and today's Friday I've not had time to moisturize it so it is what it is <laughs> so when I finished washing my hair I put it into six loose braids so this is what my hair is looking like and I've just had it wrapped up all week My uh, son has gone to his uh, grandmother's, so I've got the day to, to do some work. So that's why I'm doing my hair and then I'm going to film a video after. So the products that I'm going to use, I am using um, eye Core Leave-In Conditioner, followed by the Aloe Vera and Neem Moisturising Custard. Then I'm going to go in with this Natural Crown Hair Oil. I really like how it feels on my hair and for detangling and moisturizing i'm going to use this eye core leave-in de detangling spray it's really really good and really helps you to get any knot out of your hair so these are the products that i'm using today these are all small black owned businesses so definitely check them out and support i'll also put their instagram handles in my description box so let's get into moisturizing and styling my hair so this is my hair after four days with no moisture i mean it doesn't look too bad it feels pretty nice as well and it feels really smooth so i'm just gonna go ahead and moisturize in those six se sections that were there and then i will proceed to style after my whole head has been moisturized I'm gonna go in with the leave-in conditioner sometimes I try not to go in first with um, water or a spray because it basically just dilutes the the potency of your leave-in so there's nothing wrong with that but sometimes if I want maximum moisture I just go straight in with it and then just I just make sure I massage it in so that's what I do so this is not bad as you can see it's a water-based moisturizer so it's already sort of shrunk my hair a bit so if I'd gone in with more water before it my hair would have just shrunk a bit more I actually forgot to, to show you so this is what it is so it's very soft and has a lot of water in it so whilst I'm moisturizing my hair I like to finger detangle as well and then once I've finished putting everything in my hair then I go in with a comb So now I'm going to go in with the oil, as you can see I've got loads of short hairs that are growing back so that's great. I love how my hair feels already. So I'm going to go in with the oil to seal and then when I'm doing my actual style I will use the custard. So now that it's all done, I'm going to just comb. So 
So I've gone and moisturised my hair and this is it. Very moisturised. I just used the oil and the leave-in conditioner. The plan was to do flat twist at the front and then um, some loose twist at the back. I really need to make a video for next week. I don't have the time for all this extra stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a low banded bun. Um, because that's quicker, I get a stretch and um, I get a quick hairdo as well which is perfect for wash day style after you've just washed your hair it's a quick style probably takes just 15 minutes to do so if you're in a hurry and your hair still slightly damp you can just do that so I'm just going to make sure that this part is neat or neater than it is. Okay, so this is it all done. If it's not straight, I really do not care. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. So I'm just going to um, fluff out my hair. Okay, so all separated. I'm gonna go in with the spray. Just to flatten my hair a bit before I do it. This detangling leave-in conditioner is so good. It literally leaves my hair so soft and make detangling super easy as well so that's why i really like it now i'm gonna go in with the aloe vera and neem custard so this is what it looks like so i'm gonna apply that to the front to the sides of my head okay I wasn't gonna do this but I'm gonna have to do like half and half like a lot of people do so that your hair is like flat at the back I'm so tired. That's my hair done. No huge puffiness. So what I'm gonna do, change of plans. My hair's too puffy, so I'm just gonna twist these. <laughs> so I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So basically what I did was, I twisted the back of my, my bun into four. So this is two, so so this is two tucked away and basically what I did is I tucked one under this side and I took these two and then I tucked them down in this direction. Down. And I'm just tucking them under my, um, my scrunchie. I'm not using bobby pins. So that's basically what I did. Sorry guys, I thought I was recording but... I wasn't so for this puffy part of my hair at the front I am going to just spray with some water and then go in with don't you just love how fine this mist is love it I got this bottle from treasure tress I did a um, a campaign with tangle teaser and I got one from them last year but my mom took that from me so it's a good thing that I got another one from the treasure trash box if you like to to try out new product you can use my discount code to try some products from 
treasure trash you get about five products a month to try so if you you like trying new things definitely um, use my discount code I actually got this wax from them which I'm trying now I don't know if it's for edges but we'll see okay so this wax doesn't do anything obviously this is probably not what it's for <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with this ORS castor oil gel it's very very good and I know this will definitely work so I'm gonna go in with that as you I've used this before because I did a campaign with them two years ago and just look yeah it will do it will definitely lay my hair flat as I need it to I'm gonna go in with some oil so that it doesn't flake I'm just going to tie it down <laughs> no idea what's going on with it but this will have to do because i really need to just go do my makeup and do this video for next week so i've got something to post okay so here we are hopefully everything works out so i've gone and done my makeup i'm just gonna show you guys what my hair is looking like I don't know what it is looking like, but we are going to find out. Oh, not bad, not bad. I kind of like it. What do you think? So usually I would fluff this back, these twists, just to give um, the bun some character because I like I like big hair so this is my hair I really like how it's turned out obviously I don't think it's fully dried but I like it I don't usually do low buns but it's cute so yeah this brings us to the end of our wash and style this is a style that you can do just in one day thank you for for watching obviously it's been five days later which is not ideal but when you've got a child and you're busy and also because i want to film this it makes it a lot harder to do my hair because if i wasn't filming it i could have just done it but then filming it just takes a lot more time so yeah thank you for watching anyway and my next video i am going to do either an ayurveda hair rinse or a cassia hair treatment so i'm really excited about that because the the cassia hair treatment is supposed to be able to like stretch out your your curls and my curls are really tight and they look amazing when they're just like slightly stretched where you can actually see everything and they look great with like styles like this so i can't wait to try that out and just experiment more with different herbs so yeah thank you for watching and i shall see you in my next video if you've got any questions at all if you've got any video suggestions let me know all right